in the International Junior Show Ring, Holstein Show Ring. Judges completed her placings in the Fall Yearling class. Winning the Junior Bread and Owned Award in the class is entry number 176, Synergy Alchemy Romano, exhibited by MCNE Jokey and MCNS Hack of Pulaski, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry number 171, Heart and Soul DD Reminisce, exhibited by Matthew Boop of Milmont, Pennsylvania. Second in the class is entry number 166, Craig Crest Rejoices Reconfirm, exhibited by Eva Dornick of Baldwin, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry number 162, East Side Brady Caramel, exhibited by Anna Culbertson and Victoria Nodolf of Eldon, Minnesota. Congratulations. Judge Sloan, your comments. Well, this is really an exceptional group of senior yearling heifers. Um, I think all the exhibitors should be extremely proud of the quality in this class. But we do have an exceptional heifer here to start the class, a heifer that Roger and I both felt was a logical winner in the class. One that just really has that extreme high style to her, an extremely dairy quality heifer, and one that has that great angulus and balance to her frame. And it is that overall sharpness and clean cutness that she has today that takes her over the heifer in second. This first heifer is just longer and leaner in her neck. She's more sharply chiseled over her chine, and she's silkier and flatter in her rump and her thigh. Additionally, I also feel she's got more style about her rump structure being more square in that rump and flatter over her tail head to get her over the heifer in second. But the second heifer, she follows that pattern with the great femininity to her front end, and it is that advantage in her dairy quality that takes her over the heifer in third. Being longer and leaner in that neck again, being sharper over her chine, more upstanding in that chine, and having more depth to both fore and rear rib to get her over the stronger heifer here in third. And then third over fourth, a heifer that we felt just was more correct in her feet and legs. She's got less set to her hock, and she travels with more straightness to her feet and legs when you get behind her than the big ribbed heifer here that follows in fourth. And then fourth over fifth, one that just shows more angularity, more clean cutness throughout, being much cleaner throughout, having less condition, and more feminine through that front end, especially up through the brisket and shine. And she's silkier and flatter in her thigh than the heifer in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the heifer with just a bit more style. We prefer the way her neck comes out of her shoulder. She also tracks a bit straighter on her legs than the really balanced heifer here that follows in sixth. Again, congratulations all the way through.